After months of fierce fighting, the army finally captured the enemy harbor, and the invasion inland is about to begin. The harbor is the only supply route for enemy forces, fighting inland, who are in desperate need for food and ammunition. The enemy is planning a counter-offensive. All units are on high alert. Surveillance planes and patrol boats work around the clock. Twelve miles away. Enemy battleship spotted. Approaching from northeast. To the south of the harbor. Our aircraft carrier. Spotted an enemy convoy. It was trying to enter the river. The enemy planned to attack the harbor from the northeast. Their targets were our airfield, fuel tankers and vital infrastructure. This would provide cover for their supply convoy, which would then enter the river from the south. An urgent meeting was held. Decision was taken to send two Air Force units. One from the airfield to sink the enemy attack force. And another from the aircraft carrier to engage the convoy. The harbor was to be defended at all cost. But there was a problem. The aircraft carrier had three P-51 Mustangs on board. Two of them being severely damaged, only one was available. Four key 61 Hind fighters had just returned to the airfield from a bombing mission. Three of them needed urgent repair. The odds were against us. The commanding officer had to take a crucial decision whether to attack or wait for reinforcements.
the enemy convoy turned into an inferno. Lieutenant Jackson had launched his last torpedo. But one enemy destroyer was still on its way to the harbor. There was no time to head back to the airfield and reload. Lieutenant Jackson's voice was heard on the radio. Goodbye comrades. Today my good friends. The ultimate sacrifice. Naval ships were either sunk or heavily damaged. 